So today we are going to continue from where we stopped. We are going to be creating, uh, I recommend we continue from here. We've created clients, we've created HR settings. We have this, we have all the account details. Now let's work on suppliers because now we don't have suppliers. All right, so I recommend you, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button. And also, if you have challenges following my lessons, please let me know. And if you are joining for the first time, this is very easy. Just go to the beginning and start from there so that you can get all the codes you need or look in the description box, you'll find everything you need. So I'm going to be really fast in this one because it's, it's something you, we already know. But before I continue, let me just show you how the supplier page looks like. So this is what we are trying to achieve. All this, uh, all these neat icons here, I'm going to show you how to add it a little later. So this is the supplier page. Again, it's two columns. And remember, we've worked on two columns before, which is the clients. And this time it's going to be the suppliers. All right, so let me take out this and let's just go to get started. So the first thing we are going to do is to create the is to create the the, the supplier uh, service and then after that we create the supplier controller. So let me use the client service to create the supplier service. So I'm going to open the client service and I'm going to open the supplier service as well and I'm simply going to copy across and then. I'm, I'm, I'm going to replace clients. This is date. No, this should be supplier we're talking about. All right, so I'm going to paste this and I'm going to replace clients, replace with supplier and replace all and do the same thing for the uppercase. Okay, just replace all. And then we have our service uh, done. So let's close this. Let's do the same thing for the controller. So let's get to the controller package and just do the same replacement. So that is what you should do. As uh, client service, and we're going to use it to build the supplier service. So let's go copy from the client service and put it right into the supplier service. So I'm going to say control copy and replace and change the clients to supplier. All right, so replace all and do the same thing for the lowercase. Okay, replace all as well, close. All right, so we are done with supplier controller. Now the HTML page, we're also going to do replacement, but now you need to open the HTML file that is inside the folder you downloaded on step one. That you can use to modify the HTML file, but I recommend you don't copy and paste because you can just type it out yourself and make the, make the corrections yourself and it becomes clearer to you. So let's get in here and go to templates and we are gonna open supplier, uh, suppliers, yeah, here. And uh, supplier management page, that is fine. And let's just uh, go down to where we're going to make some changes. And that should be here. So uh, right here, in, in between this uh, page start and page end. And let's open the client and use it, as, uh, use it to make the changes. All right, so let's scroll down. Now I'm going to do this, but for you, I recommend you just uh, type it out yourself and make these changes yourself. So I'm going to just go down in between the page start and page ends. I'm going to just copy and paste here. All right, so I'm going to paste it right here. And again, I can change from client to supplier, but uh, I'll, write, I'll rather uh, copy and paste from where I already have it. So I think client and supplier have something in common, but I recommend I'll just uh, paste it myself. So basically you can change all this client, change it to supplier and you, you are good to go. So for me, it's just to, to just paste. Okay, so you can see we have suppliers here. I replaced everything and that is fine. And the next thing we want to do is to put the add model, the edit model and the delete model. You already know this, so I'm not going to spend time explaining it. I'm just going to copy uh, all of them and just paste it uh, to replace 
I'm just going to copy and paste it. You already have everything, so I, I don't think I'll spend some time typing it out myself so that we can save precious time. So the models is better to paste it somewhere before the last scripts. So I'm going to say paste. So if I go up a bit, I can see the edits. So I have edit, we have ID, we have name, we have details, we have website. And we have address and we have state or province. And if we go to the controller, we should be able to send the, send the list of states as well as the list of countries across to the supplier. So let me just check. If I go to supplier, controller. So we have to send a list of states and a list of countries. That's great. Okay, finally, one piece of uh, code we need to write, and that should be the JavaScript code for the supplier. So again, let's go to the scripts page or the script folder. Let's just use the clients js file to create the supplier js so i'm going to just copy it and just right click on here and save paste and i'm going to change it to supplier the js and i'm say okay and i'm going to go to supplier html go right down and add the script file so it's going to be script src equals uh js slash supplier the js and then close it with slash script tag and I'm going to save. So I'm going to now open the suppliers, uh, the supplier JS and let's modify. So the supplier JS and let's modify supplier JS. So here we are, up, we are having clients, we are having clients here. So we are going to be changing it, change all of them to suppliers, to supplier. And that is the solution to the problem. Uh, is going to work. So for me, I'm going to just paste the correct code, which is actually similar to the previous code. Something about the details button, we've not talked about the details button, but for now I'm adding it somehow uh, so that it will be easier for us to implement when it, the time comes. So I'm going to save and I'm going to run it at this point. So at this point, we should be able to have suppliers uh, at this place and we should be able to add edits and delete suppliers. So let's just try to see how it goes. So the server starts up, let's see. Um, the server starts up at port 8080, as you can see. Tomcat started on port 8080. So coming here, I'm gonna just refresh the page and it gives me a button. So I'm gonna just add, let's say, me. Some supplier called, uh, anyway, anything is okay. I'm just gonna select state, province, mobile, da 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 and website da, da, da. this professional i'm going to save okay so we have supplier added let's try to uh add it so kind of the, let me change the name of the supplier as kinton limited all right so save all right so kinton limited is saved and i can as well edit a delete if i want so that i leave up to you to to, to decide so what are we forgetting? Uh, so the next thing we are going to be working on will be contacts and user. Will be a, we are going to be working on user when we are going to be doing login, logout. That is uh, so Spring Security uh, and authentication. For now, I'm going to stop here and we are going to be working on contacts in the next lesson. I like. Thank you for being there. Please subscribe. Please share this video around. Like it. Leave me a comment if this makes sense to you.